Hey everyone, and welcome to another meeting of the Tropical Rum Society. As always, I'm your host Matt, and today we're going to be looking at our first Australian rum. At least this will be our first Australian rum review that I'm doing in more than 60 seconds, because if you don't already know, I did a series of shorts with an Australian Advent rum calendar. So if you haven't already seen those, go check them out. But today we're looking at Beamley Double Cask. Now I'm going to be honest, this is not my favourite rum. I've had a little bit of it before, but when I say a little bit, I mean it. As you can see, there's very, very little poured out of that bottle, and it's not because it's a new bottle either. The last time I drank it, I just wasn't that impressed. But I was also drinking a bunch of Caribbean rums at the same time, so it could just be comparison. We're going to let it stand on its own today, I'm going to do its own independent review, and we'll see if it's any better this time around. But before we jump into the taste and give it a chance to redeem itself, let's take a look at the history of Beanley Distillery, because it's got a rather interesting one. Beanley is Australia's oldest registered distillery, started way back in 1884. And assuming there's no illegal distilleries that have been running for almost 140 years, I think it's safe to say it's probably the longest continuous running distillery as well. Also, having opened in 1884, this actually makes Beanley older than Coca-Cola, so there was absolutely zero chance of having a rum and coke when they first opened. The distillery itself sits on the banks of a river in Eagleby, Queensland, and they definitely keep things very artisanal in the way that they produce their rums. They like to keep things local, so they buy all of their molasses from nearby sugar establishments up in Queensland, and there's apparently only four people who run the distillery. These four people do every aspect of production, from fermenting, to distilling, aging, bottling, they do it all. So, even though they produce a lot of rum, they're still really quite a small operation. Now let's take a look at the double cask itself. And thanks to Beanley's website, we actually know quite a bit about this rum. The double cask is 40% ABV, so 80 proof, which makes it pretty standard for a rum. It's fermented from 100% molasses base using rainwater that's actually captured at the distillery itself. Using their own special strain of yeast, there's a 72 to 96 hour period where the fermentation occurs, and then the rum's distilled on both pot and column stills. The product of these pot and column stills is then married together in an ex brandy vat for two years, and then this is split off into different American white oak ex bourbon barrels for a further three years, totaling to the five years that they've got on the label. All this time and effort clearly paid off for them because this rum did win both gold and a trophy at the Australian Distilled Spirits Awards in 2018. Taking a bit of a closer look at the bottle, you can see it has a very classic look to it. And you can definitely tell that Beanley's been around for quite a while when you see this label. It's very classy, it's very elegant, and those metallic accents really just make that label pop in all the right places. The glass of the bottle is nicely shaped into a square, and the embossed name and date are a real nice subtle touch that shows that there's been quite a bit of thought put into this. With all that being said, I'm pretty sure that this rum's going to look a lot better in the glass than it is in the bottle. So, luckily I have one here. Let's pop it open, pour some in. Now, as I said, I'm not a huge fan of this based on the last time I tried it. So, we're just going to go for a very, very small pour here. And I know usually that is not how I pour. That's a pretty small one, I'd say. We'll just sit that back down and... Let's give it a bit of a nose. Oh, wait, we should probably look at it first, hey. So you can see the color's pretty dark. It's got a nice golden brown hue to it. Little tinge of red in there as well. So overall, a pretty nice color, but I did see on the website that even though we would expect this kind of color from a five-year-old rum, Beanley does add cane caramel up to 0.1% of the volume so that they can make sure the color is consistent between batches. Leaves a nice oily residue as I swirl it around, so it's looking good so far. And since we've actually looked at it, now we can give it a nose. Mmm, very heavy, very, very heavy. It's not really fruity or sweet, and it's definitely kind of singeing my nostril hairs. So if you imagine, like, I have arm hairs, you might not, but when I go and stand next to like a big bonfire, you can kind of feel like the end of the hairs starting to be singed away. So you still have the hair there, it hasn't completely gone, but it's definitely like the end of it is, has burned off a little bit. And that's the feeling that I'm getting in my nostrils right now. 
It's not a burning, it's a singeing. The first thing it kind of made me think of when I smelled it was like walking into a freshly painted room. It's kind of like that, that fresh paint smell where it makes you a little bit lightheaded. That was the smell that I first got with this, but now that I've had a few sniffs, there's a little bit more going on to it. There's hints of raisins, I'm getting bread, there's a little bit of honey in there as well. It does smell a lot better than I remember it smelling last time. But that being said, it was really the taste that threw me off last time. So let's have a sip, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> oh, it's a strong and bold flavor for sure, but it's very deep and very heavy. And it kind of reminds me of like medicines that I had as a kid for some reason. <sighs> I don't love it. That being said, I am big into rums that were much kind of lighter and fruitier and tropical. This doesn't, this to me doesn't seem like a tropical kind of rum. This is very much a dark, heavy kind of rum. It's got a few sugary notes to it, kind of like maple syrup in there a little bit. So that kind of sweetness. There's definitely hints of oak from those five years that it's spent aging, but it's really not the predominant flavor. It's very creamy. There's lots of kind of vanilla notes. A little bit of that raisin smell kind of carries over into the flavor as well. It's coating my mouth and it's coating my throat. It's a pretty warm mouthfeel, very smooth. And the flavor does last quite a long time. Like I'm sitting here and it's still going. It's got a long finish to it. So it definitely holds in your mouth quite a while. And I would love that if it were something that suited my taste a little bit better but it doesn't, so I don't love it. Overall, even when tasting this on its own, I think this Beanley is just not for me, at least not when I'm sipping on it straight. I know some people love it because they've given it gold medals and they've given it awards, so clearly they're very much into it. And I'll admit, it is very well balanced and it does have a lot of strong, bold flavor. Unfortunately for me, the strong, bold flavor is just not the flavor that I look for in a rum, so I would put this into cocktails. It would definitely make a great base layer so that you can add on top of its complexity to create a really nice cocktail. But at the moment, it's just too intense and too dark and deep and heavy for me to sip on and enjoy. I think that's gonna do it for the Beanley Double Cask. We'll definitely take another look at other Beanley rums in the future and hopefully they'll have some flavors that uh, match my palate a little bit more. But if you're a fan of sweet, light rums like I am, this is not the rum you're looking for. If you're looking for a dark rum with a strong flavor though, this has definitely got you covered. I would highly recommend it if that's what you're looking out for. Sadly, I'm not. Anyway, that brings us to the end. Not quite, I still have some in this glass. <laughs> that brings us to the end. And now, time to go get this Beanley double cask over onto the shelf and I'll see you in the next meeting.